Um, you know what's going on over there? <clears throat> Anywhere there's a military presence, Mar American military presence, they've got some kind of um, there's something they're they're exploiting. They want to call it protecting, like their assets. That's what it is. You know, it's like literally, you know, we go to countries and and rape them. Yep. <laughs> All countries. Yep. I was talking, you know, a lot of people, I, I mean... There has to be a lot of people in the world that have been, have, over the last 20 years, you know, they've watched it. All the lies, you know, the reason they went into Iraq with Saddam. Horrible, everything they've done. Yep. Murderers. Yep, the CIA, FBI, all them. Over those, those Maui fires, um... You know, talking about direct weapons and stuff like that, lasers and stuff. I'm gonna tell you, if America really had that, they'd be blowing up things over there in Russia with it. Yep, that's what they'd be doing. All this stuff's pre-planned. These fires and everything. They know they they want it to happen. You know. But everything was written. Any everything's written that's gonna happen. Like all these things are planned. Like Barack Obama and his nastiness, Hillary. They have to have. We have to have this. The opposites, you know. You gotta have the good and the evil. Yeah. Gotta have them choices. You know, give you choices. These are training grounds. Earth is like. Um, you know, you can either take all the shit that happens to you. And become angry and and um, like and just put it on to everyone else, you know. And that's what most people do. Or you can like see it, and, like I don't want to do that. I wouldn't want that, you know. I didn't want it done to me when I was a child, you know, the stuff that was done to me. So, you know, and why would you do that as an adult to children? You know, I just don't get it. Why would you? <laughs> Keep the vicious cycle. No one wants to no one wants to heal. You know? People want to hate. It's easier if you can blame someone else than to look inside yourself and and find fault. Yeah, because we all have choices. We all make choices. Um, I'm telling you, I haven't run into too many good people in my life. Most people I've worked for, worked with. Greedy, really bad. How they look at other people. They look at other humans. They look down upon them. Yeah. Believe me, I grew up, I, I um, was made fun of for my clothes and stuff. I didn't realize I was poor. I didn't really care, you know, so I could just put a shirt on, stuff like that. And then I remember getting, like, um, well, towards the middle, in, end of middle school, my parents started coming into money. It was all the Reaganomics and shit. But, um, that, um, I remember. Yeah. Being judged even by people's, even by parents. You know, it all starts at home. All this negative talk about other people. It's crazy, man. My kids, um, <laughs> my kids. You know, it's now it's kind of, you know the I you know the turtle in the hair. That's 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 kind of how I look at it. Like, yep, my kids are building character. Why everybody else was, um, you know, building like um, likes, you know, like uh, points. Coolest kid, cooler kid in school, you know, like being the smartest kid with Down syndrome. That's what it is. Coolest kid in schools. And I remember that. They don't do well in life. 
Um, it's a shame. <sighs> Rich parents. You know, in Hollywood, people with money, they just, um, yep, they throw money at everything. And the simplest solutions to life is to love. Yeah. You know, whether you're Jackie Chan, you know, you're looking back, oh, I did so many mistakes. Dude, that guy, it's just, just he shouldn't have had any kids. Yep. Yep, he's more worried about more about worried about fame and everything else. And believe me, to get famous to what he is, he's walked a rope. He has walked a line for those communist Chinese. Yep. I see past all his, his shit. All the all, most of you most of you people out there are are, are not good. Yeah. Sick. What was that? I was watching, you know, I tried to watch it the other day because I was, uh, you know, I remember going to the movies and seeing Three Amigos and it was, um, I guess on the Conan O'Brien thing and then Steve Martin and Martin Short and they were la like, I knew they were joking, but they were like smug about their checks they were getting. And I'm like, you know what? These motherfuckers don't even know. All these people out there in Hollywood, all this fucking money they've made, and all they've done is is greedily fucking like buy up land and and things and and use it to um, exploit men and women, you know? Because you, I mean, look at Oprah. Oprah's evil. Give people money, yep. Yeah. Give people power over others, man. Look at them. Look at Ellen Janet, Ellen DeGeneres, yep. Yeah. Nobody can talk shit about any of these people. Barack Obama, free pass, he's black. For what reason? Uh, and it's always funny, they always pick, you know. You, <laughs> uh, it's so sad. Yeah. And they're going to try to murder people. Yeah. Barack's boyfriend got murdered. That's exactly what happened. told you about it, black people, black men. If they don't have strong male role models in their lives, um, they definitely um, can be, um, uh, they tend to lean toward the, the feminine side. Emotional, emotional is what it is. They never grow up. They never learn to deal with their emotions into because, you know, we're all emotional, but when it comes to young black males in America, especially, you know, that I noticed, very angry without ma male around, you know, they're in their mothers, it's not a good love, you know? on either side, then it's not, that's not a, that's not a color thing. I'm just seeing it. From everywhere. Mothers have not, have, uh, have disappeared. Yep. So we're no, there's no, children aren't getting loved anymore. Nope. They're getting stuff. And this is what you've, this is what it's produced. A society that's selfish, um, apathetic, um, greedy, um, uh, the names we've lost touch with what it is to be human yeah. I'm very unloving you know we learn something from children not the other way around That's where we should aim for. The way children think, that processing, how they how how they take in the whole world. You know? I 
unless they have horrible people in their lives, teachers, parents. God bless.